Good morning. It is 34 degrees. It's 8:30. I try. I've been waiting for an hour. It was 24 degrees at 7:30 this morning. And then I'm trying to get my other glove on because it's cold. And the high is supposed to be like 48 today with just a mild wind. Ooh, 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 it's cold. It's beautiful, though. Look how beautiful it is. With all the poofy clouds. <sighs> it is cold, though. It was so cold this morning. There was, uh, everything was frosted. And I waited till, um, it was not frosted anymore. Let me look at this mountain over here. It's looking good. Even though it's super cold and it said it was going to snow, now it's changed its mind and said that it was going to rain, which is fantastic. Oh, look at my droopy tulips. That one still has frost on it. Let's see? Yeah, droopy. Oh my goodness. This has flowers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is one, I've only had this one year. I put it in last year and I was like practically weeping, hoping that it would make it. It can handle minus 10, but the year before, not last year, but the year before it got to minus nine. It's got flowers. I mean, my apple tree has flowers, but I don't see any bloomage. That one I've had the longest. Originally I had three little cypress trees and it was Anastasia, Gazella, and Cinderella. But then they didn't make it and so then I replaced them with these apple trees. They were a gift from my aunt and then they all died anyway so it was like whatever. So I got these instead. So I'm super happy that there's bloomage. I put that plastic thing over that last night just because it is so cold. And I don't know. Like these guys have been outside. So they're used to it being cold. Oh, no. I'm so glad I got photos. Look how droopy that is. Yee. There's still frost on it. Oh, but they've got to be tough. Everything's got to be tough out here. So, you know, they got to toughen up. There's, can't, I can't have any sissy la la plants. They got to be tough and push through. They will, though. I have faith. They like it because I'm always talking to them and I'm always telling them nice stuff. Look how foofy you are. Look at that. You foofy, foofy. I wonder if I'm going to get some blooms from you. They're, these are still pretty young. These are giant purple irises. I'd love to get some different colors. I don't see any uh, flower bloomages yet on those but i'm not that surprised they're beautiful with the just the green um fans i like to call them just fans but they're actually giant purple irises which rodents and rabbits mice deer none of them like like them and it makes a great borderline especially for like your driveway oh, i got puppy paw prints over here there's a puppy prints everywhere i don't expect these all did bloom last year i waited till after they bloomed and then i yanked them up and my son and i transplanted them so i don't expect blooms i may get a few 
last year they were just phenomenal i was weeding and i was up over here in this top corner and um when i stood up ooh, wait a minute. blocked my speaker ooh, tummy growling too i need me some oatmeal this morning um i was over here weeding and then as I stood up, it was just a sea of purple blooms. Oh, it was like the best um, video. I still think about that video a lot. It was such a great video. Look at these. Like, I mean, you can see that it's a little frostbitten. But this mint is doing super great. These ones are holding on. So, I mean, a lot of people think mint is gets out of control. I think you can control mint a lot better than you can, like, ginger. Um, I saw ginger take over a really uh, house over by my high school when I was growing up in Bandon, right across the street. There's like this little house and they had planted ginger and it just grew underneath the grass, underneath the house, everywhere for years. And it's like walking on concrete, but it's ginger. It's nuts. I was like, oh my goodness, that's crazy. And then mint. Yeah, I know mint can get nuts, but I got to be honest, cilantro I have a couple little pieces I gotta pull out of here, this little mint. I was letting it grow back a little bit to see if I missed anything, which I knew that I did. So I have these little pieces that I wanna pull out. Um, but cilantro was my nightmare. And I love dill, but I'm scared to plant more dill because last year I had dill in a couple spots that I did not plant. But I really like the dill. So I'm like kind of holding back and I'm trying to figure out what I should do with the dill. Because I want to grow a lot more of it, but I need it to be um, manageable. And I learned that with cilantro. I still pull cilantro out of everywhere. And if you're a big lover of cilantro, then yeah, you'd want like a nice size barrel full of it. But it's just too much for me to deal with. So I'm not going to... Like cilantro was my biggest nightmare. And I don't want to deal with chives. Cilantro or chives. Because I pull chives out of my lawn because my neighbor has issues with chives. <laughs> So if I needed chives, I can go over there and like, she'll be like, take millions of it, whatever. So I don't want to do that. And then I'm not the only mint grower. I know somebody who has a chocolate cocoa mint that's out here that I missed that one. I would have really liked to have gotten that one, but I have the ones that I really liked. I did like the pineapple and I did like the orange. I just couldn't get it to survive. So the spearmint mint and the chocolate mint. And this is like, I had three chocolate mints to get this. I had to really struggle with the chocolate mint to get it to take. And then I got these ones. So I'm pretty happy with the mints that I've got. And I'd like to work on getting my, figuring out where I can plant dill. Where I'm not going to have a lot of problems with it. Because I really love it, but... At the same time, that is something that can get seriously out of control quickly. Especially since I let things go to seed. You know? So, I'm curious to find out this year. Because I let the carrots go to seed last year. Two years. I waited two years for my carrots to get full. And I mean, I let the bees go at it. And they, I had them right here. So I'm curious to see what, how many seeds dropped, like what, you know, 
what it would, you know, do. That kind of stuff. So we'll see. Because I know what the garlic and the onions, you know, how they go about it. I'd like to see the carrots. I did pull all of the stuff, but I let lots of seeds fall. Anyway, no word on my wall. I tore it down. I should have waited, but that's okay because, um, oh well, oh, there's a piece of glass. Oh, it came up. Oh, there's another piece. There's another piece. Usually after I sweep, then in a couple days, you'll, you'll start seeing um, stuff. I, like this whole sidewalks, all these sidewalks were pickaxed and, you know, carved out with the pickaxe along the way. So all this dirt's been overturned, 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 tilled or whatever. And it took like two or three summers for me to get exactly what I wanted. And see, that's my curse. It's either a curse or and a blessing. Like I pre-plan, pre-plan, pre-plan. But also when I pre-plan, pre-plan, it my plans change a lot. Because then I see a different way, I see a different way, and then it, I end up getting all the materials. I have all my materials for my wall. I just don't have the ability to um, install it, and everything's been measured 15 million times. And at this last minute, I'm thinking of just putting two doors on that wall instead of one. I was just going to have the one door. I've moved where the door should go a billion times. So now I'm just like, just put two doors up. And then later on, you can always just block one door. So I'm like, maybe do that. Because it will save me on drywall. First of all. And um, also give me more options. So, and I have the extra door, so it's like, I'm storing it anyway. And I don't have the extra drywall, so it's like, hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just thinking, maybe that's what I needed, more time to think on uh, whatever. But man, it, it got into the low 20s last night, and it was cold. It was really cold. Alrighty, you guys. I've been rattling on about pretty much nothing, but the garden still looks good after a pretty cold frost. It, it was like low 20s, like 20, 21 last night, maybe even 19. It was, it's pretty cold out here. But I've added more lights, and then I guess my aunt is, uh, she found a bunch of yard lights. She found a bunch of these flower yard lights that she got me like a couple years ago. But after three years, those ones don't work. I have to take those back. Oh, my door is open. Bruce must have got out of bed. Um, see, they start to break. They become really brittle, these dollar store. Um, see how brittle they become? And then I end up having to pick them pick the plastic out so what I'm gonna have to do is um because this still works but all the petals have you know fallen off so what I'm gonna do with these I think is in the sun winter I'll just pull all my yard lights and put them in a container out here because at nighttime it's so pretty out here with all it's all lit up i'm not quite finished with it because i added all that so i need to add more lights going down 
And then I want to do some fairy lights over the two arches. I would like to get one more arch. So I've been like on the prowl at Habitat for Humanity. See, here's a broken piece. And um, places like that looking for good deals. Like only if I get a good deal though am I going to get it. And then I was thinking that I would put the next arch probably like over here somewhere because there's one, two. So I'd want it like kind of over here, maybe over in this area. Or I don't know, but I'd like to get one more arch because then it would be the with the fairy lights, so it'll really light it up, which I think is cool. And then I still got to put a topper on the Eiffel Tower. I just really love the way that this looks. And I can't help when I do my music videos of getting down here at this angle. You know, like how pretty is that? Like, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I like the old typewriter underneath here, too. But I like the way that the blue in the background. Definitely cool. But I need to find, like, a... I want... was I just thought about putting one of these toppers on it. But it just takes away from it. Like, I wish I had... I think I'm going to do fairy lights. Just wrapping the fairy lights through and around or maybe around love and not mess with the Eiffel Tower because I really like the way that it looks up on that table like that not with that big glass chunk I'm gonna find the right pot to put in there like that'll have the right flowers like maybe petunias or something and then that glass thing won't have to be on there to hold it I'm just afraid that the wind is gonna knock it off so I have that, I don't know, random glass piece. If the wind doesn't, if the wind stays decent today, then I might work on this. My dirty old lamp with no shade. My dirty broken lamp with no shade. That's what I want to call it. My dirty broken lamp with no shade. Because it's nasty. Like, I'm going to have to get up in there. It's broken. See? And that thing's all bent. I need to strip it. Flip it upside down. Paint it. Let it dry. And, um... I think when I have it flipped upside down, when I put it in its place, I think I'm going to fill the scent, fill that up with dirt just to make it to where that uh, top piece isn't putting a, so much pressure, you know, like right on it. It'll be more on the dirt part. It'll look better though. And then I can have that concrete block for something else. I have no clue what I'll use it for, but it will find a purpose. It's been moved around a million times. The boys wouldn't mind having it. I just won't give it up because I found it on my side of the yard, so it's mine. And I found that um, other circle one. I found that circle one, too, on my side of the yard. <laughs> so, like... But I kind of want to bury that one down a little bit. And I want to make it to where my golf, where the, the hole is on the other side. So you go through the hole to get to the hole. Is what, or have it as a back piece and then put like a, a something on it, you know, to stop it to where the hole, the T, the hole is in front of, of that. And then if you hit it too hard, then it goes through ricochets back or maybe it'll 
spin a loop around and flop down into a hole. That would be cool. I don't know. I'm going to, that is like a golf day. Today's technically a golf day. I could get away with playing golf today. I could, like, it's not, the wind isn't that bad. See, look, the flag is just, like, poofing up every now and again. But it's not, when that house sells, the person will probably take the flag down. And I don't know if they'll put a new flag up, so I won't have that as a reference for wind. So I, I need to get a sundial in my yard. I need to get a flag of some... I want my flag to go just to say my Lamborghini's. And I want it to be white with black lettering. And then my big ye yellow sunflower with sunglasses on it. And I just want it to say my Lamborghini's. And that's it. And then I want to hang it on the post, this tall post over here, so that it flaps out over my yard. I think that would be so cool. But that's just another pipe dream. You know, maybe someday. Boop, 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 boop. It's good to have dreams, because if you fulfilled every single dream, then you wouldn't have, like, little things to wish for. Oh, look at how... I like the poofy clouds. I think they're fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. It's beautiful today. Like, today is beautiful. It, even though it's super cold, like, it's cold. But it's not that bad with my gloves on. I have my snow jacket on. I did not put my snow pants on because it makes a lot of noise when I walk in them. And I still have that big rip in the badunk dunk. And I've tried to figure out, like, I did, I taped it, that didn't work. I tried Elmer's gluing it. That did work. But that means I can't really wash them. And they're, they're like, I need to cave in and buy a pair of snow pants. But it's really hard to find because everybody out here keeps their snow pants. So this summer... When I'm out and about, my son wants to go to Bend next week. So, like, I'm going to look around and see if I can't find a pair for next year. I just want them to be bigger so that I can wear my jeans underneath them. So they need to be, like, like the elastic so I can just pull them up over my, whatever I'm wearing. I just want to be able to pull them, like, right up over that. I don't care. And I kind of don't want some weird color either like black is fine pink is fine I'm not a purple fan because I have red hair and people are like oh purple purple with my red hair looks terrible I look awful in green purple yellow I look best in red black white um blue I have brown eyes, you know, so it's like, mm. I prefer earth tones. Like, I like tan, beige. Red's my favorite color. It's always been my favorite color. I've never had a different favorite color <laughs> than red. <laughs> and you know what's funny? is My son is the same way. Red is his favorite color. He's never had a different favorite color. My daughter was like, I love pink. I love purple. And then she went through the pink, purple. Oh, then the orange phase was terrible. And then um, for the last, I would say a good 12 years, her favorite color has been green. Like green is like her. And she looks good in it because she has the darker skin with the darker hair like my mom. And Serenity is the same way. They're like, those three were like triplets. And then I got the red hair. But they all have brown eyes, though. And so the, my, the brown eyes are dominant in my family. Anyway, I don't think this light right here was working last night when I was out here. This one works great. I don't think this one is 
I don't think the sun is getting it. So I think I need to flip it around to where, can I flip it? Is it flippable? We'll see. I don't want to fall. That's what I was avoiding. Was it falling? I don't know how I can get it to stay like this, though. Hmm. There. I don't think the um, sun is getting the... But, I mean, it's getting that one, but that one is getting sun. But I don't think that one was getting sun. I can see this one super great from the house. But I was kept looking for this one. I couldn't see it last night. It may have finally, you know, died. They are two years old. They're very fragile right now. The, they don't even have the stake parts anymore. I couldn't even find those. And this one, like, the glass is getting very, very cracky looking. This one's holding up a tiny bit better. In some areas, but you can see where there's some areas that it's. So I'm just going to have to keep my eye on these. I doubt, like, I'm not going to leave these out in the winter. By the winter, I'll probably have to throw them away. Because they'll just, are going to crumble eventually. But that just tells me that, like, all my metal pieces, all the, the little stuff, I, the lights have to come in, too. That's okay. And then that'll just make them last twice as long. You know? I'll have them for an even longer amount of time. I'll just have to put them away. I might have to get another uh, yard case or re or I need to reorganize. Well, I'm going to get rid of some pots. And then when I do that, I'll have more space. Oh, alrighty. The wind's picking up now. It's against us. I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I hope it's beautiful like this, but I hope it's warmer wherever you're at. All right, you guys have a good day at work. If you're at home, rest up. It's always important to rest. Nobody ever said, oh, I rested too much. So, you know, get lots of rest and have a good day. All right, bye.